hey, how's it going? I'm Chowder, and I just wanted to give you a chance to get a more in-depth description of my editing process. So this editing process is gonna take about a week of back and forth communication between us both before you get those pictures done to your liking. It's gonna take about a day to five days, business days, Monday to Friday. So you can expect these pictures to be done, have hard edits with retouches in about a week to give you a general idea of how long it's gonna take. My editing process has changed several times, but as of right now, you are given a follow-up date after your photo shoot for when I will start working on your pictures. Once that date comes, that's when this process begins. Currently, what I use to view the photos is Dropbox. If I'm not using Dropbox, I'm using a website called Pixie Set for event photos. But for your photo shoot, nine times out of 10, if I'm doing a photo shoot, I'm gonna be sending your pictures through Dropbox. Not sure if you used it before, but if you haven't, go ahead and look up on your phone Dropbox. You can, you can download it if you have an Android phone or if you have an iPhone. Um, you can use a laptop computer to view the website as well. But Dropbox is what I recommend. You could use Safari, like one of your web browsers on your phone, like Google Chrome to view the pictures but I highly suggest using the Dropbox app. Just download it. If you download the Dropbox app, you will have to create an account, but you don't have to pay for it. I have unlimited storage on Dropbox, so all you have to do is create an account. More than likely, they're gonna give you two gigs of storage, free storage, you really don't need it. That's just storage for your Dropbox. Because you're viewing the photos through my Dropbox, you won't need to pay for extra storage. They're going to try to get you to pay for more storage, you don't need it. When you view your pictures, do not add them to your Dropbox. Just view the pictures. Once you're ready to download them, you can export those photos. So when it comes to selecting your favorites, you're gonna be picking your favorites. I could pick your favorites, but I'd much rather you pick your own because then that way I know what you like. If you can just go through those pictures, go through that gallery, it may be 80 pictures, it may be 100 pictures, it may be 200 pictures. It's really important that you select your own favorites. For me to find the picture that is your favorite, I will need your four digit file number that is at the top of the picture. It's typically gonna be four digits at the end. Um, it might say IMG, it might say DSC, but I just need the last four digits of that photo. There are four different photo files that I work with and one of those being raw is what I take the pictures in. I actually do the pictures in RAW plus JPEG in case you need the pictures on the spot. And JPEG is just basically a pre-edited version of the picture that can be used directly after you take it. This is what your phone is using. Your phone is taking pictures and automatically editing them and making them a JPEG, a pre-edited picture. But I'm working with RAW files. They have much more information in them. Once they come from raw, I edit them and turn them into a soft edited JPEG image. And that's what I'm sending you guys. Um, after you get that soft edit, there's still one more step. There's still a little bit more seasoning that we got to put on top. And that's what you get when you get a hard edit. You get a soft edited picture that has maybe more amplified colors, more skin retouching, adjustments to the eyebrows, really in-depth changes or what you're gonna find in a retouch or hard edit. Hard edits do cost more. Photo shoots do not come with all of the pictures typically. Typically, if you do a photo shoot, they, they don't come with all of the pictures from the shoot. Nine times out of 10, if they do come with the pictures from the shoot, every single one of the pictures, they're gonna have a watermark. Um, my photo shoots don't have watermarks on them, so I'm allowing you to keep all of your pictures from the shoot with out watermarks. And not only that, you're getting all of the pictures with soft edits, which is a pretty good perk of booking with Chowder J. Not only are you getting every single picture with a soft edit, you're also getting 15 background fixes. Background fixes are something that I do a lot for my clients that come in and shoot on my seamless backdrops. Um, because there's so many people shooting on these backdrops, there might be a smudge on the backdrop. There might be some oil on the backdrop. There might be some hair here and there. It's a seamless backdrop. So any little piece of dirt or whatever like that is going to show up. So you are given 15 background fixes, edits for free. Your shoot does come with one hard edit for each outfit. So for each outfit, one hard edit, one retouch. After that, there is an additional charge per phone. Getting them faster isn't always an option. Depending on the complexity of the edit or the workload at that time, I can't always rush or edit the photos regardless of what they may be for 
whether it may be for a birthday or an event or a flyer. So it's really important that you book your shoot ahead of time, at least two to four weeks ahead of time in case something happens. And just to be clear, a hard edit includes skin smoothening, adjustments to the eyebrows. It could have been a little string showing or something like that. That's what you're gonna go ahead and notate when you're sending changes for your hard edit. Background text, special edits, composites, that is something that is a premium. That is something that takes a little bit more time and there is an additional cost for that. I can't always replicate it, but I can try my best. So if you wanna send me something that someone else did that inspires you, please send it to me. Now, you are receiving every single picture from the photo shoot. So if you're getting 100 pictures, 180 pictures, 200 pictures, 500 pictures, more than likely there's going to be some inconsistencies. When there's inconsistencies, whether it may be the exposure, contrast, clarity, texture, um, you can actually send those pictures back to me and I will fix them free of charge. I think I touched on everything. So if you have any questions, please just let me know. Please shoot me a text. Um, that's a wrap.